Okay, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to another video. And today, I just want to walk everyone through how to set up your tablet as a second display for your Windows PC. Okay, I recently picked up a really good mini PC and I went to try and connect my tablet to the PC and I really had a hard time. And you know me, when in doubt, I Google or YouTube my way out. And I went on YouTube and I found that there was no easy, succinct way that demonstrates how to set this up. So I figured, why not let me give it a try? So today in this video, I'm gonna walk everyone through how to connect up your tablet to your Windows PC to use your tablet as a second display. Okay, so you will need a Samsung tablet running at least one UI 3.1 and above, and you will need a Windows PC running at least Windows 10 and above. Now my particular tablet here is running one UI, I think it's 4.1, and then my Windows PC here is Windows 11 Pro Home Edition. Okay, so let's get started. So on your tablet, this is what you want to do first. On your tablet, you want to go ahead and go into Smart View. Okay, so we're going to swipe down twice to bring up your quick toggles. Then you're going to swipe over to where you see Smart View. Right? Now, from here... You're going to hit this three dot hamburger menu in the upper right hand corner. And it's going to go to settings. Tap on that. And then from here, you're going to tap on about smart view. Okay. And then you're just going to keep tapping on this smart view logo until the developer settings for smart view come up. You can see smart view developer options. And then we're going to scroll down. And you're going to tap on start second screen and you're just going to check this off and then you're going to tap on it to start it. Okay, now your tablet is ready. Now, on your keyboard, on your Windows device, you're going to tap the Windows key and the K key. It's going to make your Windows uh, PC search for a compatible wireless displays. Also, if you don't want to use the shortcut and you want to get to it in the settings, you want to go to your Windows PC and do the following. So let me adjust the camera here. Okay, so adjust that so y'all can see. And let's back up a little bit. Okay, so here on your Windows PC, you can do con the Windows key plus the K key. So let me show you. Windows and K. And it searches for the compatible wireless displays. And you can see right here, this is my Tab S6. Now, if you don't want to do it this way, you can go into your settings. All right. You can then go to display. All right, and then you want to go to you see this connect to a display wirelessly and then you just want to click connect and it will bring up the same screen all right and then all you want to do is tap on your wireless display so in this instance my wireless display is my tab at six gonna tap on that it's going to automatically connect right and now you can see it just connected to my tablet. So you can see it punched in and punched out. And now it connected to my tablet as a secondary expanded display. All right. And I can disconnect it from here if I would like. Okay. Now, back on the tablet, let me show y'all what happened here. Let me angle the camera back down. You can see now it's turned into a Windows display. And now I can use this tablet as an expanded Windows display 
for my PC. All right. So this is ideal for if I want to get a lot of work done. Y'all know I do YouTube and it's really nice to have a second display here with like my notes on it. Okay, so now you can see my mouse, my mouse from the PC is down here on the tablet display. And this is really nice to say, let's say I have my notes for the video descriptions that I'm putting together down here. And then up on the PC, I have the video descriptions for that particular YouTube video. And I can just copy and paste across the display. All right, so that is one of the instances where having a second wireless display may come in handy. Also, if you work from home, right, and you need multiple displays when you work from home, you may want to consider using a wireless multiple display option. This is where this also might turn into a good idea. All right. All right, so this has been a real quick video showing you guys and gals how to set up your uh, Samsung tablet as a secondary display on your Windows PC. All right, I hope everyone enjoys the video. I hope everyone found it helpful. If you did, you know what to do. I hope everyone is having a great day, and I will catch everyone on the next one. Have a good one. We are out of here, everyone. Peace. See? Nice, succinct, easy to understand. Oh, this whole video here today was recorded using the primary camera on the Samsung Galaxy S20 in 720p at 30fps with no external microphone hooked up. Okay, so please let me know what you think of the overall video quality as well as what you think of the overall audio quality down below. Okay, all your feedback as always is greatly appreciated. All right, have a good one, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one. We are out of here. Peace.